Hi viewers, today let's see the case study of data analytics at Flipkart. In which we will see how Flipkart is using data science to stay ahead of competition. Before exploring the case study, I would request you to subscribe 5 minutes learning channel in YouTube and support me to post more such videos. Also by subscribing, you can keep track of my video updates. For your better understanding, I have enabled this video with English subtitles. Now let's move to the topic. Flipkart is largest e-commerce player in India, who analyzes every click and touch, in every user's session to construct something called, journey of each customer. Flipkart keeps track of every click you make on their portals, and then predict what you are most likely to buy from them. Advanced data analytics is used for the identification of the target customer group, to whom the online ads will be displayed. For this purpose, they use hyper-personalization, in order to connect consumer data for anticipating individual needs, and delivering ads to the right person at the right time, thereby improving the overall customer experience. Thus, data analytics helps to identify both loyal, and new customers by using data extraction, and segmentation for tracking browsing habits, and spending patterns. This technology allows Flipkart to customize their offerings and promotions. For example, when a customer researches through the catalogs of a product range, the search patterns are recorded, and a persona is created for the customer, so that when he returns to the website, the searching time is drastically reduced, by showing the most relevant product, that the customer could be interested in buying. When you are buying a mobile phone, out of the millions of products in the catalog, the system correctly matches the most probable product you will purchase next, maybe a mobile case, or a screen protector, which is an example of content-based filtering. Also, the system can also recommend products, based on the person's persona, or the persona of a similar customer from the same demography. While this sounds really simple, but implementing this on the catalog, that has billions of products, requires a phenomenal amount of software and hardware. With the advent of data to analytics techniques, we can say that the recommendation system has reached, its next level in evolution. According to a research firm, Flipkart leads market share of gross merchandise value in the Indian e-commerce industry with 47%, ahead of its closest rival, Amazon India, is at 33%, and Paytm is at 5% market share. India's internet economy is unsurprisingly on an upwards trajectory, for e-commerce companies like Flipkart. A recent joint report by IBM and Kalawari Capital forecast, that the country's economy will be worth, $1 trillion by 2025, with smartphone penetration at 90%, and 850 million internet users. This is due to the falling cost of smartphones, and more affordable mobile data plans. The boost to India's internet economy, offers immense potential to incumbent e-commerce firms. The online market share is only at 2.9% of the total $670 billion retail market in the country. Technology played a vital role in Flipkart customer buying experience. In the year October 2019, Flipkart mobile application hit 100 million downloads on the Google Play Store, it's the first time for any e-commerce companies in India, to do so. Flipkart receives most of its traffic via the Android app. Flipkart also launched Artificial Intelligence for India in 2019, to make best use of the business opportunity, from the rising number of internet users, and higher smartphone penetration in the country. 
Flipkart is applying artificial intelligence more aggressively to build service differentiation, better user experience, and to automate back-end processes. The differentiating factor behind the success of an e-commerce player, is that whether they offer something cheaper, better, or faster. Flipkart SAI for India hopes to harness AI to resolve pain points that are unique to the e-commerce ecosystem in India, and to improve customer experience. Flipkart uses three types of approach for mapping query to the store. First is classic statistical approach to store mapping, which helps in searching the baseline system for the products that the users clicked on. The click data provides a confidence measure, showing the number of times users clicked on a product for the same search query, and hence the store mapping happens instantly. This approach largely depends on the data, and works well with categories that are common, popular, and well known among the users. A product belonging to a niche category may not have a lot of query data, and hence, the store to query mapping may be less probable in such cases. Following are the challenges with this approach. 1. It works on the exact query. 2. It memorizes the query, allowing no room for generalization. Finally, it lacks query volume or click data, in an issue or unpopular vertical. Second approach is, supervisory approach to store mapping. In this, a query can come in a very general way, for example, Avengers Endgame. It can be a fan of the movie or characters, who is looking for the Endgame printed products. So, the category options can be a poster for room, mobile cover, bottles, pencil box, bed sheets, books, etc. Third approach is, supervisory plus plus approach to store mapping. This is used for efficient text classification. The labels are fewer than the catalog data. For a reduced runtime, the company uses the hierarchical softmax function, which speeds up the classification based on the code optimization. It provides for the most and least frequently used classes. It is possible that a user might search for a product without adding specifications or filters. Let us take an example where the user has searched for souls. The user hasn't he specified anything except this word in his search, but because of store mapping method results can be generated. The search results could be attached to about 40% of the products which relates to the word souls. Flipkart uses data analytics to create personalized search recommendations for its users. As Indian customer base is vastly diverse, Flipkart uses image recognition, a deep learning application, for suggestions, product discovery, product grouping and catalog search. Flipkart is researching machine learning based applications to improve product search. Their machine learning models can recommend products based on users' search patterns, size preferences, past purchases, conversion rates etc. This personalization helps deliver products that customers are more likely to buy. According to Flipkart, machine learning recommendations have shown 10% rise in click-through rate. Next, Natural Language Processing NLP is another application that Flipkart is uses to help to clean up the reviews section, particularly during big sale days, flagging off deliberate negative reviews. The goal is reaching out to prospective customers from smaller towns and cities who may not speak English. This is especially important for Flipkart, as 9 out of 10 new internet users from India speak only an Indian language. Another artificial intelligence solution that Flipkart uses is artificial intelligence run chatbots. Myra, Flipkart artificial intelligence run 
virtual shopping assistant, which has been on trial since its launch in 2017. Flipkart goal for Myra is to meet prospective buyers' queries, derive intelligent predictions and customizations, and to enhance online experience resulting in reduced returns. The virtual assistant has already contributed by increasing cart addition to nearly 12%. In another initiative named Flipkart Ukash, which means excellence. The e-commerce firm recently used artificial intelligence to improve on the quality of products sold by its 100,000 registered sellers. Flipkart teams visited sellers' locations and identified possible gaps in their operations and the quality of the products. They also used artificial intelligence and machine learning models to derive insights from the data collected from buyers and sellers, which are then used to create guidelines to improve quality and reduce returns. With the use of data analytics and machine learning, Flipkart has driven its business goals of reducing product returns and cart abandonment. Flipkart is applying artificial intelligence-based deep learning and machine learning models to resolve last-mile delivery issues, which helps to save time and resources at different stages of order management. According to Flipkart, artificial intelligence has helped the firm to classify and identify addresses with 98% accuracy, reducing the delivery time by at least three hours per delivery hub. It has even helped in detecting address-related fraud committed by resellers. Flipkart uses data analytics even to map the shortest route to the customer's doorstep. All these technological usages has pushed Flipkart ahead of the competitors in the Indian e-commerce industry. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please support me by subscribing 5 Minutes Learning channel in YouTube. To keep in track of my new video updates,